Hi everyone, Blue from Skullbusters, and today I'm going to take you through three great cars for 800 PB races, including Sardinia and Spa. Two of them are legendary, but one of them you can get from Brand Central, so don't worry if you don't have two of the cars. So let's get straight into it. Car number three, fastest of the Brand Central cars, is the Tomahawk group one car from Dodge this runs in with a whopping 820 horsepower whilst only weighing 950 kilos or for those who use Imperial 2094 pounds but what does all that translate to on the track so in terms of lap time I was managing a 130.6 as be best and then the race pace was a 23.43 so you're doing sub 24 minutes and that was with me swapping tyres and making many mistakes overshooting braking zones it's a very good car it's light, it's nimble and it's got lots of power great car to drive so let me show you the setup right so bear with me here because I'm tinkering but Downforce, you want 800 at the front, 2000 at the rear. ECU set to 100, ballast 0, 0. Uh, and power restrictor set to 83. And you want the fully customizable manual gearbox. And then you want to be setting it to the following ratios. Starting from 7th, working up 384, 341. 314, 271, 231, 192 and 152. You then want a high RPM turbo and then the suspension settings are as follows. 75, 100 for the ride height, front rear. 8, 10 for the roll bar. 20 to 50 on the compression. 50 to 30 on the expansion 3.5 to 5 on the natural frequency 3 2.5 on the negative camber angle and then toes on the front you want 0.05 and then on the back you want 0.2 diff settings all set to 5 and that is it oh and brake balance set to 3 you can tweak it around based on what you want. I moved it back so I can turn more under braking. But if you just want a solid harsh brake, you can leave it at zero or even push it to the front if you want. In terms of strategy, you want to be on fuel map one until the middle of lap six. Then stick it on fuel map six until the end of lap eight. And then same again, come out fuel map one. And then on the last lap, fuel map 6, and that'll get you over the line and it'll let you put some burner laps in. And then, obviously, you have your fuel saving laps. Right, let's move on to car number 2. And there she blows the Gran Turismo Classic, the Mazda 787B. Now, it's not got as much power as the Tomahawk, but it's much more agile, doesn't weigh as much, and... Sounds like the way it does, and this means that it's much, much faster than the Dodge Tomahawk. So, there's only one other car I'd consider to be faster than this one, and we'll get onto that in a minute. But this will fly around Sardinia in 129.5, and it'll finish off if you're good enough in a sub 23 minute race. Now, I'm not that good, um, I don't play this game often enough to be honest uh, and I got around in a 2319 so I'm a BS rated driver so there's loads of time to scrape there right set up time so we're going to be using racing soft tyres and then the ride height is minimum at the front max at the back so 55-85 anti roll bar 10 on both compression 20 to 40 on the rear, expansion 50 to 30, natural frequency 3.5 to 5, 
and then negative camber 2.5 on both and then I've not got any toe angle and then 5 on the diff downforce 501 eking out the PP uh, 1600 on the back ECU set to 100 ballast set to 20 positioning at 50 and then the ECU set to 75 now there's your gear ratios, you want to slam it down to 2.828 on the final ratio and then go 380, 325, 284, 242 and 200 and then whack a high RPM turbo on it and brake balance set to 3 again. Right, there you go, that's how that sets up. In terms of strategy, you want to be using fuel map 1 all the way through but you are going to need to pit for racing soft tyres so you are going to have to swap tyres out uh, so if you pit at the end of lap 8 that will get you like halfway through the race and then carry on onwards finally number one car fastest car on side then you and if you've seen my previous videos you've probably guessed it it is the Nissan R92 CP bit of a different tune to the last time I covered it so the guys over in GT Planet they've been beavering away and they've come up with a racing soft tune I think it was Turbo Datsun again actually and this leaves it with 850 horsepower to 900 kilograms and what that translates as is a lap time of 129.1 .1 for me a BS rated driver and a race time of 23 25 so I'm slightly slower in this instance but overall it does feel like a faster car I made more mistakes and it, it's just better so let's get into the setup so like I said bracing soft tires loads of grip and then on the suspension you're gonna want 60 on the front 90 on the rear anti-roll bar 8 at the front 10 at the rear damping compression 20 on the front 40 on the rear damping expansion 50 on the front 30 on the rear natural frequency 3.5 to 5 negative camber angle 3 to 2.5 and then toe angles 0 0.05 out on the front and then 0 0.1 in on the rear default set to 5 and then downforce we're at 501 at the front, 1599 at the rear, ECU is maxed out and then the power restrictor is set to 87. And then we've got a fully customizable racing transmission. Right, gear ratios. You want to set the final to 3.162 and then the rest should fall into place. So you want 386, 320, 275, 233, 1.94. Medium RPM turbo and then your brake balance set to 5. And that is it folks. That is the best car for Sardinia. Alright, thanks for tuning in folks. If you do if this video helped, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you want us to check anything out, and uh, we will see you all next time. Adios.